Ice My Girl. Hello, YouTube watchers, viewers, people of the world. Uh, so today we are going to be talking about three main things. Um, this is my quick little video before I go back to school. I actually leave tomorrow. I only have two suitcases, a duffel bag, a violin, and a backpack. I consolidated. It was lovely. Um, so on this fancy little order sheet of Amazon, I decided to use the back because reducing, reusing, and recycling is cool. Um, we are going to talk about three things today. So, number one, I had a list of things that I wrote down that I wanted to do, and I strongly suggest that you do the same thing because if you write something down, you're more likely to achieve it and it motivates you. Um, and I wanted to publish a book, and I was like, well, I don't know how this is going to work. Do I have to reach out to publishers? I've heard of so many people getting denied. This is wild. Actually, if you go to Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing, um, you can submit work and get paid for it because there's royalties. So... I actually submitted a uh, work and it got reviewed and assessed and it passed. So I have my own book now and it is called College Where Changes Are Bittersweet and I Turn to Poetry. Um, it's actually part of a series called Mux Matanoa. Um, you can look into it. Uh, the point of this is not to get you to buy it. It's just to let you know that I wanted to publish a book, so I did it. Um, but along with that, if you have a passion and it's something that you really want to do. I didn't think that it would be realistic that I would be publishing a book, yet here I am now with like a book to my name. So you can do it, I promise. Number two of things we're going to be talking about today is acne. Interesting concept topic here. Um, I decide, oh gosh, so I uh, went to get a facial two days ago and like I usually don't have that bad of acne, but I mean sometimes I do have it, like everyone has it. And uh, I got a like microscopic needle stabbed into my face like a whole bunch of times over here. I don't know if you can see. And over here. I tried like really hard to cover it up, but that's just because it's like now blood clots or not blood clots. The blood did clot there to form like scabs and whatnot. Um, basically, I was unaware of the fact that a facial is actually where they like put a needle into the hole of potential or possible slash future pimples and they squeeze whatever is in there out. So, why am I telling you this? If people were to see this, they're just like, ew, would you have um, guessed that I got my face stabbed, like, reasonably, like, 30, well, I guess, like, 21 times two days ago? Probably not. So, once again, going along with the idea that it is not okay to judge people, whether it's their acne or anything else, no one really wants any flaws on their face, and it's not even a flaw, like, we're, like, organisms with like other organisms like on us like we're not going to be perfect and you are going to have some issues and it's okay and you can embrace those issues and still thrive you're going to be okay sweetie last thing being thankful um i've had my fair share of people on twitter like oh i want to die i want to do this like everything is so bad i sleep all the time like okay that's okay, but um, for all of those people who are in the hospital because they are sick and they are literally dying, I don't think that they would appreciate that you're saying, as a healthy human body, that you want to die. Um, I think that we are all put on this earth for some type of reason, or if, we're not, if you don't think we're put here for a reason, that's totally fine. I respect that. However, you have so many chances to do so many great things in this world for other people, for yourself. Like There's so much to take in that you can simply just do so well with and along those lines are being thankful for all of those opportunities and if you don't want to take advantage of those opportunities that's okay but don't take or bring anybody else down because you are not interested in participating in life um you know a lot of things are going to go your way a lot of things are not going to go your way but that's all part of the experience and if you don't want to take that on then that's a personal choice and that's okay and if you want to complain to someone about it, or I don't want to use the word complain because some people don't complain, they're in need of help, like I'm here for you, there are other people who are here for you, but don't just think that you have no option because you have like infinite options of people who want to help you, of people who want to see you do well. So be thankful for those people and um, I would just say take advantage of everything around you, but be thankful for the fact that you are here and that you are given opportunities. I mean, if you're watching this, you're already, like, I wouldn't say blessed, but, 
you know, you're fortunate enough to own some sort of electronic device that allows you to access the internet, and a lot of people do not have that, and they would do many things to be able to do that, or be able to do simple things like have a room to make blogs in. I'm not really sure. There's a lot, but regardless, we need to be thankful. We really do. Okay, those were my three things. I emphasize the third one, but that's because I think it's very important. And I have found that I am much more content with myself, with the people around me, and I can love so much more easily when I am thankful because I appreciate and realize how important and how simply amazing everything really is. If you have any questions or if you have any ideas on what you want me to talk about, I'd be more than happy um, to discuss those in my next video, which will be at school because I'm leaving tomorrow. Um, this is my second promise video for this break and I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you. Have a great day.